Okay, guys, welcome back. We are staying at the Star Hotel in Sydney at Darling Harbour. Uh, just going to give you a quick, very quick room tour. It's a very, very big room. Uh, pretty flash, pretty flash. Uh, the view is okay, but not, not what we thought uh, for... 500 bucks a night it's uh hmm. it's all right it's sydney and it's it's mardi gras this weekend so prices are inflated all right let's turn this around and have a look all right so when you walk in the front door if we turn to the left uh just here is pretty big cupboard uh, extra pillow up there, room safe, uh, nice, only one dressing gown. There's a couple of pairs of slippers and a hair dryer and ironing board. Um, but only one dressing gown, that's a bit weird. Anyhow, we go around a bit further, we come into the bathroom. The bathroom's massive. Huge mirror, uh, double sink. Lots of uh, free stuff for us to take. Little makeup mirror there. I like the uh, star on the towels. It looks really nice. Huge uh, rainfall shower head. Massive shower. Plenty of room in here. Plenty of room. Coming back out. My wife's trying to run away and hide. Uh, our bags have just been delivered. Now, there's the bed. I haven't sat on it yet, but if we turn around this way, we've got a table, one chair, uh, coffee, cups. Open the cupboard. Uh, there's milk and tea and sugar in there. This one, wine glasses, a few cups. Uh, coffee maker, kettle, open this one, we've got a fridge, what's inside the fridge, if I can open it, uh, a couple of bottles of water, they are complimentary, shut that back up, alright, drawers, that one's empty, that one's empty, and just some empty cupboards there as well, Telephone, pen, notepad. Beautiful big TV there. Plenty of storage. Um, swinging back around here. I cannot see any PowerPoints or anything like that for us to charge our phones. Oh, sorry. There's one PowerPoint and one USB on that side and around this side the alarm clock is plugged into the PowerPoint uh, there's a USB port above it there's no USBs on the alarm clock so I might have to pull that one out uh, to plug my stuff in a uh, nice big chair to sit on view out the window and forgive me, but I don't know what direction I'm looking at. Um, I know I've seen that bridge there before, which I think is at the end of Darling Harbour, but not 100% sure. Nice view down the bottom there. Oh, yeah, you can see the planes coming in there, coming into land at Mascot. Mascot's over by the water, so... It's over that way. Uh, let me just close this back up and I'll head to the other window. Out of the other window, pretty sure we can see the swimming pool. Uh, I believe that's the pool down there. We will head down that way later and go for a little walk around, have a look at the pool, have a look at what other amenities are here. Uh, may even show you guys what the um, buffet is like or well, that might be a separate video 
little balcony. Don't think, no, we can't, we can't get out onto the balcony. So there you go, there's our room. Um, a little bit disappointed with the PowerPoint situation, but not to worry, we'll make the most of it, I'm sure, and uh, we'll go for a little wander downstairs and have a little look around. Uh, this is the corridor that leads to our room. I'm gonna head to the elevators now. We're at room 10002. Alex is in room 10004, which is right beside us, obviously. Uh, ours is slightly different because we're at the end of the building. But we're about to go down and have a swim. So once again, you've got to swipe your card to activate the buttons that you wish. Like I said, we're on level 10, but we're going to five, which is where the swimming pool is. So to get out to the pool, Automatic doors, doors are open. Oh, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Tiny pool, uh, but if you wish, you can hop in in the shade. It's a spa up there as well. You can hop in the spa bath. So, full shade, full sun seats and things out there not a bad view here for the fireworks i dare say here's the view from the pool deck uh vanji may come here to watch the fireworks a little bit later that's the crown over there that funny looking building it's uh vip invite only that's reception where you walk in check in beautiful looking place it is very, very expensive, but a lot of designer shops down here as well that you can go to. They're all closed at the moment, uh, but Versace, Rolex.
having dinner at the Harvest Buffet at Sydney Casino instead of uh, Gold Coast. Pretty much the same. Bit of black broccoli, I've never seen that before. Mashed potatoes, lamb stew, grilled fish, roast veggies, roast potato, all your sauces. Bit of ham, bit of butter chicken. That's Marty rice, Bombay potatoes. And then you get some cold meats, pizza. Come along a bit further. You got some noodles, mushroom, tortellini. And I don't know what that one is. Baked eggplant zucchini. And then you have a huge selection of fresh seafood. Crabs and mussels, tiger prawns. Now we've moved to the most important part of all this, the desserts. Have a look at it. Head around the corner. Uh, not really interested in fruit. Who needs the healthy stuff? And then, oh my goodness, have a look at some of this. Wow, that looks absolutely delicious. And then those as well. Oh my goodness. Get your soft serve ice cream there. Add on your jelly beans, your freckles, your chocolate bits. 